back in Red Rock Canyon. As you can see, I had to do a decent little scramble to get up here. Because I started off, where can you see, right about in there where that riverbed is. Follows along there and I clambered all the way up here. Check out those patterns on the rock. That's pretty cool. As you can see, this goes all the way out there. And I found this nifty little cave to do my video in. All right, so this is the latest battle box. And I'm up in this canyon. It's a little cave in Red Rock National Conservatory. And I'm gonna go over all the stuff that's in this battle box right out here. Now the reason that this is in a postal box and not a battle box is because I hadn't, I've neglected to change the address on my battle box to the, in um, to my new Vegas address because it's not a permanent address anywhere it's sort of temporary so I hadn't done it yet but I finally got the new PO box so I'll be letting them know so I just had to have my girlfriend ship this thing out to me so I haven't seen it yet but she had to put it in a flat rate box it made it cheaper because it's fairly heavy so this is the August battle box let's see what we got I already ripped it but I haven't I haven't looked at anything in here yet Right. I'm gonna have to make sure I police all that stuff up. This looks like an ammo pouch. I don't know why it says it has a one on it. Is that what that is? It looks like an old, one of the German patterns or Swiss, I can't remember. German is more like the flectarn. So this could be Swiss or Finnish. Oh, it's a gas mask. Looks Russian to me. No, maybe Polish. So I was getting there. Pretty badass. I already get a sense of the theme of this one. Don't want to get too much sand in that. But that's pretty cool. Because I'm only working with one hand here to it on the tripod. Oh, yep. That theme's easy. Nuclear war survival skills. That is awesome. It's a pretty decent sized book and something that I don't have a lot of literature on. Cool caution. Biological. So this is for a NBC kit most certainly, nuclear biological chemical. All right. So here we have this book, it's about that thick. If you want to check it out, there's the ISBN. We got a bag for disposal. Or a great way to scare your mailman. I'm guessing this one is either Polish or Russian. Pretty cool. I'm guessing there's a filter in there somewhere. Let's see what we got here. Nuke. Ha. Suspicious name. This is pretty nice. Always been impressed with the battle box knives. Metal construction. Assisted opening, frame lock. Interesting blade design there. It's almost like a modified Tonto. Because the belly has like an almost a sharper angle. I like it though. Comes a little keychain light. Blue. Very cool. Belt clip that looks like it can be adjusted to either side. It even has almost a radioactive style symbol on there to some extent. The nuke. Cool. 
Once again, a quality knife. Colloidal silver. Nano hacks, extreme colloidal silver, 50% more than an eight ounce bottle, same price, immune system support. Gives directions. It's pretty good. Again, if you want to check that out, there's the ISBN UPC information. I have no idea what this is. Looks like some kind of test kit. Oh, filtration. So it filters out radioactive material out of up to 25 gallons of water. That's pretty cool. So if you only your only source of water has been potentially contaminated, this is a really cool kit so far. <laughs> Some of the stuff I wouldn't even have thought of existed with that filter. And we got some stickers. Paperwork, some coupons. What do we have here? A raid triage emergency dosimeter. I believe these are measuring device. I'm not going to open that because I don't want to expose it to the air. Pretty cool. A mini Geiger counter. Badass. You can connect it to your smartphone app. That's pretty badass. And use your smartphone in this keychain as a Geiger counter. That's really cool. Never would have thought of something like that. Towelettes for wiping off contaminated particles. This is probably radioactive iodine. Yep, potassium iodine tablets for blocking the thyroid's uptake of radioactive iodine. Thyroid blocking and a radiation emergency only. This is something that you definitely should have. Probably the most important part of a NBC kit. Some more paperwork. A few more goodies in here. Important part, the filter. Some old mill surplus. Let's see what country that is, see if I'm right about it being Poland. Let's see. Some sort of former Soviet country. Here's some information on the thyroid blocking iodine. So here we go. This is battle box for this one. It is building an NBC bag, which honestly, this right here is a great start for an NBC bag. All you need to add to it is if you wanted some over boots, a jumpsuit, or even a poncho or something to protect you from falling particles, particulate gloves, things like that, basically the whole exterior suit, then this would be all the rest that you, you would need. Pretty awesome. Let's see what it says. Polish gas mask. Boom! Oh. Nuke folding knife designed by Leong Ma. Smart Geiger counter. This is a really impressive one because this is something that most people, or a lot of people, even in the prepping community, don't have a decent NBC kit. So if you just be able to get a pretty decent kit all included in the one battle box, you know, even if you're not worried about the knife, this one was. A hundred dollar box for everything but the knife, which is pretty great. You get the gas mask, the iodine, the filter, the bag. You just throw in a, a like a rain suit and the gloves and boots, which you can get at a lot of military surplus stores or eBay or something like that. And some duct tape to like tape it up. Just get one of those Tyvek suits or something, anything waterproof that you could rinse off, and uh, you're good to go, man. That's a great kit. Very pleased as usual. Knife is once again awesome. Definitely glad that I'm getting these battle boxes. Super impressed with them. We'll continue to show you guys the awesomeness of it. And I've got a lot of the, their gear that I'm actually going to be testing and using, like, which I've already showed you in the video, this hat from the battle box. Works great. A lot of their other stuff works great too. I use it in my card kit for my trip out here to Vegas. And uh, yeah, definitely check them out. B-A-T-T-L-B-O-X. Ooh, chipmunk. Anyways, that's all for today, guys. Thanks for watching.